behind. Where are you now? What's this number? We've all booked into the hotel up the road. How far away are you? I don't know. I'll have to call when I get there. You can't. There's no signal. Well, it doesn't matter. Just go to bed, Hannah. Well, listen. Make sure you're not... Ah, Maya, I presume. Uh, oh, don't be alarmed. Uh, your friends booked you in. Uh, let me just check. Ah, yes. Uh, room 101. It's all been paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything. You are very nice friends. Very nice. And there's uh, quite a few of you I see as well. Nice to see so many fresh, young faces. <laughs> For a change. Uh, you're here for the music festival in town, I presume? Yeah, we were supposed to be camping there tonight, but... <laughs> There's hardly weather for that, is there? <laughs> uh, will you be staying for breakfast? I don't think so. We'll probably just get going. That's fine. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Maya, would you be interested in uh, the entertainment tonight? Tonight? Uh, starts around midnight, usually. It's, it's me doing it, actually. Comedy. I do this comedy character called uh, Hugo Punch. He's sort of this comedic sociopath, <laughs> says things that you're not supposed to say, and that sort of thing. It's quite popular with students. I don't think so. We're all just going to bed, I think. Are you sure I can't twist your arm on this? It's okay, I'd rather just go to bed. Sorry. Fine. 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 Which way are the rooms? Um, just take the lift. Uh, you're on the first floor. Okay, thanks. Oh, and, and then drop your key off in the box, uh, if you will, Maya, please, tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Best show in town and no takers. Who needs proper entertainment when you've got YouTube and my face or whatever? Stupid, uncultured. You don't like rude children. They're naughty. Don't start this again. I don't want to hear it, okay? Not tonight! you need to do, Jimmy. Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
Okay, holy smokes of the exposition on that one. So, we'll get it underway at Dead of Night, weekly one-shot number 254. I was really impressed with this studio's previous game, Contradiction. And here we are with At Dead of Night. I've never played this game before, but having tested it... Uh, I don't know, those eight hours suddenly feel like they're going to be very long. Okay, do we have anything else to check out before we actually start the game and start that timer proper? There's this bleeding apology mail about depicting Jimmy and DID, I don't know. Don't think you should ever apologize for creative endeavors. Gameplay advice, yeah, we pretty much just had that. Subtitles are on enhanced descriptions. Well, there's nothing against us using hints in the stipulation here, but let's keep that off, shall we? Uh, we just had the instructions right. Contacting ghosts, spirits, prompted, high energy state. I don't know, just find them and follow the light seemed to be what it said. Okay, well, let's just get it started properly. The story of Jimmy Hall. Jimmy's secrets, things, connections. We don't just do the sensible thing and leave away, apparently. Let's get going. Oh, extreme game. If Jimmy attacks you, he will take almost everything every time. So it seems that Jimmy attacks are debilitating, but maybe not game over? We'll find out as we go. And we are already going. So let's get that timer. So this starts right after, I assume, the little movie we saw at the start. We just saw Jimmy putting our friend to sleep. We ran down to the bottom, and we will do the sensible thing and just leave. But somehow this door is too much for us to overcome. Now, what instantly throws me is that you don't click and investigate so many things that you see. You very often just turn around or make a move, depending on how the arrow is looking. There's also this constant shaking of the camera. I'm not the kind to get motion sick, but it is extremely irritating already. And we've only been playing for a few seconds. How long is the game? I have no idea, cinnamon rolls. And I hope that we don't have uh, some of those very annoying people who give us the blow-by-blow blow on exactly how long there is to go on these challenges. Those people deserve to be hazed, almost as much as the people that steal from the charity around here. Okay, so what do we know? We know that we can call out to Jimmy. Down here! But we were told that Jimmy can't hide on the ground floor or the basement. And we also have our little ghost spirit talky thing. But there's no indication that the spirits are around. Loud noise means there's a spirit in a high energy state near. Roger that, but let's put you away for now. Could probably go in the elevator, but I want to see what else we have. Ooh, we also know that he can't hide in the stairs. I don't know why it felt the need to tell us that, though. Find a compass. So I'd like to check these drawers, but pretty hard to see what can and cannot be interacted with. Right, let's try this dark and foreboding corridor. Whoa! They got Time Crisis 3 here. I actually like Time Crisis 3. The last good Time Crisis. WrestleMania... Pinball Defender, that's quite the variety of games. And a billiards table, but it doesn't look like we can interact with any of them. Although there is a move forward here, I have a sneaking suspicion 
that one of these machines, probably WrestleMania, is going to move at some point and reveal some kind of hidden doorway, or hidden passageway. Why not play a game or two while you're here? Actually, there's Time Crisis 2 in an arcade uh, near where I stay here. That and Pump It Up 3rd Mix are the only interesting machines there. Well, interesting to me at least. Okay, so nothing's going on here. Holy smokes with the motion blur. I did try and find a way to disable the head bulb and motion blur, but this game doesn't really do options menuing. I think the case is that it's all pre-recorded stuff, so you're out of luck regarding that. Right, lots of lock things. I, I thought in the opening video we grabbed Master Key 02 from here. But I don't seem to be able to get behind the counter again. I can't believe Maya though. She, she just left her friend to be... I assume chloroform slept. Is this the kitchen? Looks grotty. Should have just gone to the entertainment, Maya. Come on, if you're already here for a festival, surely some midnight entertainment isn't too much to ask. Okay, so it seems like I must use the stairs or the elevator. Let's take a ride in the elevator then. We could actually go up. But the good old Jimbo is up there, so maybe I'd rather check out the assumedly safe lower ground first. Now we have a stipulation here. Not only do we have eight hours to beat the game on extreme mode, but we are forbidden from using the mirror on the ground floor or lower ground floor. A crying going on around here, or is it spirit device crying? Doesn't appear to be. More video games. I'd like to play them, but Maya doesn't. Ooh, that looks like the stairway door. Inaccessible, sire. Look at it. Those look like lockers or locks that you'd be able to interact with, but I find it constantly off putting that attempts to click on it just turn you around. Off putting. That, that, I mean, I, granted, I've been playing this game for five minutes, but that feels like an adequate word for the game. I don't want to be too harsh on it too early, especially since I have eight hours of this to go. So let's keep that chin up and keep going. Speaking of chin, what a chin on Jimmy. So many things to investigate, but nothing that we can actually do in here. How strange. In fact, this whole place is strange. There's nothing going on here. What happened to all that crying? Nothing but locked doors, an empty room, and what sounds like running water. Lose lobby salivating at the word off-putting. Well done on Bleak Inlet. It was very entertaining to watch. Can we really call it well done? I'll put it to you that it was done, but... Gee, oh, cripes. That was a bit of a fear moment. down and say hi to the kid. Oh, we made a note. Where do we see notes? Fear was a game that I couldn't finish. I thought it was really, really terrible. People kept telling me how great a game it was and how revolutionary it was with regards to NPC AI. 
But I just found the whole experience miserable. That weekly one shot was quite some time ago. So, where do we see our notes? Oh, we've completed 0% of the game? Oh, okay, just, just plays it again. But surely the implication there is that I could talk to them. Make contact with the spirits and ask them about the girl in the basement. Okay. But I'd need to make contact with the spirit. We haven't really found somewhere that we can do that yet. I suspect I'm going to hear something. This spirit device reminds me a lot of the similar device. Oh, she's gone now. Similar device we had in Nancy Drew and the haunting of Thornton Hall. Where we had some kind of EM something or other detector. That's what you get for waiting to the last minute, the rolling greed. Waiting for other people to vote before making your own, are you? People without convictions of their own. Okay, so I cannot run into the stairwell. I better make note of that if old Jimbo tries to sneak up on me. Oh, oh, okay. We'll just sit in this dark room. There was an earlier place we couldn't go to because it was so dark, but here we can. No, 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 I did not want to move that way. Anyone in there? like it. I threw THRU. Alright, thank you Master Key. Now, if old Jimbo tries to rustle his way in here, I can hide in the bathroom. Now, I don't know if he's going to try and hunt me down in there. This is giving me slight vibes of Amnesia the Dark Descent. Probably exclusively due to hiding in the Wardrobe being an option. Okay, can I have that? What is a deadlock key? Uh, okay. Dear Mum, I'm sorry for everything. Okay, well. Is that it? We're not going to take it? No, but it's probably something we can talk to the ghosts about. Yeah, this feels very Amnesia the Dark Descent. Can I look out the peephole? Oh, well now. Let's just uh, maybe leave him to his own devices. I'm trying to return, but it won't let me. Still there? I can see you. I don't think he can see us. <laughs> Why would I want to leave? Because of the timer, Jake, you are not wrong about that. Alright, seems safe.
Could I perhaps lock this door? Oh god. In we go, go. If he wants to come in, he's welcome to do so. We'll just uh, bide our time here. I don't think he's gone. I bet he just fake closed the door there. Okay, no, I think I can hear him buggering off now. Come on, show me the goodies. We're not going to swipe the ring. Mm hmm. Very nice of old Jim Jim to fumble around with Locke for a bit before he comes in. I, I don't know. This is actually quite spooky. Very spooky, in fact. Big credit to the game. Oh boy, he's right there, isn't he? Now what I wonder is... Can I bail out of the room and lock him in it? Might as well try. Seems like a good idea. So if he if we wait for him to go off over in that direction, and then out we come. Oh. Didn't uh, didn't let me. My, my grand idea was while he was checking out that, I would bolt out and then lock him inside the room. It struck me as a good idea, but I don't think critical thinking is one of my strong points here. Right. Oh, Jesus. That's what I get for thinking I'd be safe in there. So he clocks us in the heat. Keep our notes at least, you didn't destroy our memory. What what is up with that? I even kept the key to three oh nine, but I've lost my little um my little ghosty thing. So much from taking all of my stuff. Maybe he's, maybe he's kind and nice to you if you get caught first, or rather when you get caught, caught the first time. Oh, go oh, well. Now the tables have turned, Jimmy boy. Come on.
I'm not sure what Jimbo's game here is. We were on the third floor. He clearly dragged us down here. Never been a fan of these ornamental looking hotels. We got a lot of questions to ask these ghosts. We also have not noticed any ghostly behavior, so... For all we know, they're not real. Hey, he's not out there. Oh, he doesn't appear to be out there. No, no, go, go, go that way. Mm hmm. No old bags, no sword. Can't even stand behind the curtains, which is somewhere I'd probably think to hide. Hide in plain sight. But I love deception. I do not like the shaky. It was definitely a very strange choice. Stranger still to have absolutely no options in this game. I couldn't even set resolution. I had to go and change a JSON file in the installation folder. Is this where we were KO'd earlier? Yeah. Don't dark too ahead. Kane and Lynch 2. Did I play that game? Oh, right. Well, I do not trust the storerooms whatsoever now. Maybe what I had to do was... Oi, move. Move. Not that way, though. Ah, oh, Jesus. I thought I was using all of my brilliant deductive powers to notice that he wasn't there, but he was. We still got the key to 309. Oh, the storerooms may have the device. That's funny. The device was explicitly on the ground floor. Hello, hello. Now that I might want, because I've been having trouble finding these spirits. Storeroom. We've been entering storerooms with no problem. Okay, no sign of Jimbo. Hmm. Okay, but where is my compass? Now, could I lock the storeroom? There we go. However... How does that help? Doesn't appear to be a way to hide here. Although, I suppose if he doesn't like break the door down, he might just rummel it and then not be able to get in, but... There appears to be nothing for me here. Oh, got it. Got to manually unlock. We really missed a trick not taking that sword with us.
Dia Z. Where are we gonna find Simon's home brew? Feels so much cozier in here. Where is he? <laughs> Let's go on vacation with all of my trophies. <laughs> Can I have an icebreaker? Do you think he's there? I'm gonna have a hard time remembering everywhere I've been. Hello, hello. What's he looking for there? You can't look through. The looking glass the other way. Well, I know he walked off in that direction, so let's go the other way. Oh, that was his face peeking around the corner there. Things, that'd be frightening. But if he sees you run into a room, I wonder if he will investigate it. Oh hey, maybe it's that kid's purse. Maybe that's what the kid's here for. Would be good if from here I could see him enter that room, then I could lock him in there if I had the key. I don't think I do. I can't stand horror games, says Baskinger. I'm scared way too easily. Wait, what? Is that the same purse? Oh, maybe I should have checked before I left. Oh, right. The sudden snapping of the camera, I think, confused me into not realizing I was looking at the room I was just in. Hello! So I am not allowed to use this mirror in the ground or lower ground floor. But I'm not on the ground or lower ground floor. Ooh, another mirror. We should make mental note of that. 105, another mirror. Hey, can I open up my notes thing? Where's that notes function? Oh, oh, wow. It's flickering there for some reason. Where's my notes? No, I definitely don't want guides. Which one's notes? Discussions, guides, notes. Room 105. Spare... Crying mirror. Yeah. He's not out there, is he? Uh, doesn't appear to be. Oh. I wonder if the ordering of these keys is going to be a pain. See him stepping around out there. What are you up to? I think he knows I'm in here and he's trying to hide around the corner there. Right, which door, which room's key do I have? 
102 and 309. Kind of a shame, it would be nice to lock. Hey, I have an idea. This way! Not what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to lure him into here. And then see if he would go into that room. And then bolt out. I'd like to lock him in there personally. But... Mm -hmm. Jimmy ain't taking the bait. Oh, maybe he is. I hear footsteps. Jimmy of the Lou's lobby. Alright, the question is how do I get out when I'm at the end of this hallway and he's at the other end? Nice if I could say be here and then observe him walking to the other side, and then I can run away with impunity. Because he doesn't seem to just leave the floor that we're on. Come on, Jimbo. Seems quite content to just lie and wait. I don't want to get bonked again. And play my head like a taiko drum. Oh my god, it throws my perspective so much when we look into the room that we just came out of. So we're in the world's way out. For that matter, where's Jimmy? Wait, was that Jimmy right there? I feel like something just... Well, let's find out. Okay, no, it's just a reflection of the... Okay, sounds like he's behind me. I'll check these rooms. 115 and 140. Ooh, well, never mind that. dark in here. I think he's walking exactly the way I was wanting to go. Hopefully he doubles back. Bacon like a bobblehead here. I well, probably don't want to go to the way he just went, but what other option do we have? Oh, jeez! Right, what? Well, wait, what the hell? I I saw him go. Oh no, no, that's not the way I want to go. I want to go over there. Ah, oh, jeez. Book it. Uh, 
Oh, that's quite good. That is quite good. Better spook than just surprise who's round the corner. Well, when will bald people ever learn? Yeah, see, that sudden snap to looking at the door completely throws me. Oh, I don't think I've been in 120. Oh, I haven't used my scrying mirror either, have I? been hit in the head one too many times. So the, the, if I had to guess, it's telling me the scrying mirror is somewhere on the first floor, which is concerningly where I am. I've been searching around and have not found it. Unless the hint was that it's near the elevator here. Oh, or it's in the storeroom. We were told it's in the stores. Perhaps I would do well to lock the door whilst I'm in here, since previously we got smashed by... what's his face? Jimmy. And there's no... It, it points up here, but... Can't do diddly. What is that in the top left of the screen? Like there's something there. That wasn't from this, was it? Oh! <laughs> I, can do it. I don't think he can see me. Yeah, it's some kind of bug with the steam overlay. Maybe we could just stretch that away a bit. Is he out there? I should have made a mental note of every room that I've been to because I am incapable of remembering all of these. That's got to be a good sign, though. He's just talking gibberish. Game is way too scary, says Spam. I'd like to request you play something like Super Monkey Ball. It would be less scary, but no. Not a fan of Monkey Ball. I played it, what, two times, three times on stream? And my mind just goes back to that awful level with a spider dancing on the rolling cylinder with all the holes in it. Good heavens, there's a lot of identical rooms. Oh, he is close. Maybe he does know that I'm here. Uh, 
does smell a bad egg. Uh, oh, crikey. So does he always lock us in 107? So it's not wiping our memory, but I am pretty sure I had more keys earlier. But I still need my spirit finder. lost my scrying mirror as well, didn't I? Ah, but I made a note that there's a spare one in 105. Now, I know it's in the left drawer, but what if I recheck the right drawer? Oh, I'd forgotten about the compass. Cool. And there we go, go. But now there is no longer a spare scrying mirror in 105. Good to know that 105 is... So loaded, though. I think I'm underutilizing the call out to Jimmy button. But my previous attempt to use it just fell completely flat, which is bothersome. Check those drawers. No, I cannot. Whoa, 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 no, no, I do not want to be going back there. There we go. I, uh, geez. There we go. I recall the game saying something like on the ground floor is where he keeps the stuff. But the scrying mirror seemed to hint that it was on the first floor, so who do I believe? for why we're not just leaving the place and running for our lives. I would hope not in the middle, Ferion. Unfortunately, there's no way to disable pre-rolls. Well, not without infesting the mid-roll with it. Scry uh, not the scryer. Where is my contact the spirits machine then? Must be somewhere on the first floor that I hadn't checked. Mm, no, I suspect it really is first floor then. I think I get 50% of the ad revenue, Victor, but I'd rather have 0% and just not have a, uh, any ads on the channel. But there's no way. No way for a partner to not run ads. And sadly for now, Twitch has defeated the ad blocker. Okay, stairwell is out of the question. 
about the lavies. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Could have been a lavvy st- No, no, Christ almighty, the movement is tricky. I want to turn around and check out that. No, okay. There we go. Now, I need to use the compass to locate the spirits. And then talk to them and ask them my many questions. And then point out all their contradictions. Wait, why is the compass telling me... Oh, it's very slowly spinning around, I guess. with one agonizingly slow compass. What are you even doing? Spinning around? Help me, scry mirror. I think it's telling me to go to the lower ground floor, so maybe- no, 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 look out the peephole first, get back in there. Jimmies are on the prowl, sire. Maybe the fact that the, uh, the compass was kind of see-through and spinning around was a little bit, was just telling me you're on the wrong floor. sure why we're scared of Jimmy here. Why well, it seems chunky enough and Jimmy here is just built like a twink, so I think he's that effective. That said he's still freaking me the hell out, but that's probably just because he's bald. You know, bald people have nothing to lose, so they're going to activate a hundred percent of their spurgy energy to keep you down. But where exactly are we meant to be going here? Do you want me to be going straight ahead? Now you're just spinning right around like a record, baby. Thing is still spinning around.
I think there's something I'm fundamentally not getting about all this, unless I'm meant to use it inside the lift. Which there is no option to do. Uh, I don't get it. Wasn't there something here about... The receiver. I mean, like, I can hear the woo. You'd think that would mean there's a spirit here, but. Oh! Is anyone there? Hello? Ah, there we go. What's your name? You lose your purse. Who did the child's purse belong to? It was mine. It was for my birthday. But it was stolen. I found some trophies. Who won them? I don't know. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? As if she knows what diazepam is. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? It was me. A boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement. Then he started stealing things from me. Who does the sword belong to? Jimmy had it. I didn't like it. See, now that would be a bit more threatening than wandering around with a truncheon. Who wrote the note that says goodbye? I don't know. Who did the wedding ring belong to? This is significantly less exciting than breaking into people's homes at 11pm to ask them if they know what this means. And I'm currently doing a finger gesture that you can't see, but you know what I'm doing. Okay, well, did we learn anything from that? I would hazard to say that we did not. Except that Jimmy likes to steal things. I'm pretty sure we asked about everything. And this game has me so spooked that I already need to take a quick water break. I'll be right back. Let's hope Jimmy doesn't burst into us down here. Right, there we go. Hmm. 
seems that my mute button also is the turn around button. Right, so we spoke to the lassie. She didn't have anything of value to tell us, but we have far from explored this place. We've only done the first floor. Uh, didn't I spend a brief time on the third floor? Well, let's go and check the second floor. Oh, good point. Let's get that timer going again. Yeah, Jimmy is the same guy that does Simon, so the Simon's homebrew jokes will be flowing. Oh, well, this looks just like, just like the first floor in Britain. It's ground floor, then first floor, then second, third, fourth, etc. And that's actually very confusing, because when someone says, oh, I'll see you on the first floor, you go, is that British first or other first? And then it also varies from country to country. It's not even just a British thing. Right. Doesn't that scream out that it should be investigated? Then I can go forward, but no, I cannot. There's a whole lot and not much that I can do on the second floor. Because it's too dark. Also, I just noticed that there's CCTV. So, old Jimmy can probably see exactly where we are. Right, third floor feels the least investigated of my options. I'm pretty sure I've turned the first floor inside out by now. Yeah, alphanumeric spam, I do not know what they were thinking with the shaky cam. A lot of noise going on. Anyone there? Is someone there? I mean, it might just be windy outside, but it certainly sounds quite Is spooky. someone there? Perhaps you are in here. Is someone there? Right, what clues do we have? We've got Jimmy, we've got what looks to be the little girl. And... Maybe a handkerchief of sorts? I think it's telling me that I need to... Ooh, jeez. Telling me that I need to go and get another clue to ask the wee lass about. Seen him in a wee while. Hope he's doing all right.
Jinx, the stairs lead anywhere? Maybe I should check them next time I'm downstairs. He's up here now. Well, that's just the same note that we saw before. There is he. What's he up to? stuff before. Jinx, I, I think I actually need to maybe ask the little girl again about something. I've completed 0% of the game. Oh, dearie me. Well, I'm over 10% of the way through my time. Go and have a look. A wee word. Oh, we'll go and have a wee word with her again, shall we? asked about this? I thought I had. But I don't appear to be able to. I'm trying. Hmm. Is it Amy? Amy didn't have an answer. Right, right. Oh, what, do I need to connect some dots here? Match two replies you think connect the work to work out the story. Pair sighting replies with items faster progress. What? When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Of course it was. felt a little convoluted and pointless, at least in contradiction. Well, the clue is in the name as to what we're meant to do. Alright, uh, can I just, just go away? 
Um, it showed something on my vision there, but I didn't pay attention to it. I think it said ground floor, go there now. Yeah, let's hope that was worth like 30% progress. Four percent, oh dear. We're gonna do that 25 more times. Right, there's a restless spirit here. We can feel it. Is it Amy? Oh, I know, it's that pinball machine being played. There's an epic gamer at work in here. Uh huh. Is it Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. I saw you shouting to Jimmy to give your toy back. Why did he take it? That was pretty funny. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Toy? I didn't say anything about a toy. Was it related to his sword, though? What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? seen anything about a toy and I don't actually know where she came up with talking about a toy. And I certainly don't see any toys around here. I bet you haven't asked about this yet, but I'm quite certain that I had. Jimmy thought stealing my toy was funny. He gave it back, but he ruined it anyway. What toy? Where'd this whole toy lark come from? Is it Amy? Yes, it's me. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, is that connected with what you said about the purse? I suspect I have to find a toy. But I thought I checked everywhere. Is someone there? Hmm. 
perhaps if I go upstairs and scry once more, get sus something out. Actually, I feel like I've underutilized the stairs. Where was the stairway? Not that. That's the gaming room. Not that. It's too dark. Not that. It's nothing. Yeah, I believe this is modern day since we were using a smartphone during the intro sequence. Huh, could have sworn there was a stairway around here. But... Yeah, remembering things is not my forte. <laughs> we need an Aurora. You'd think we'd be safe from timber wolves inside here, but you'd be wrong. Some wolves appear inside. Alright, can I scry from here? So Jimmy's looking around. It's that little girl again. And... I need to go into a room. A room protected by bald people. people in the world. We'll just call them balds. There's a room around a corner. Hey, let's just go around in a, in a circle. Feels like it might have been this room. What? I thought I'd been in here before. Chef hat. More drugs. More trophies. Did I ask about the chef hat? I mean, we were able to talk to Jimmy quite normally at the start. Ah. What do you want from me? I looked through the little eyepiece before. Ah. The game's a lot scarier without the sudden round the corner smacking. I mean, it kind of makes me think that I should just ram myself up against everything. Because we still keep the stuff that we find here. But maybe at some point we're going to desperately need those keys. Which I'm pretty sure he's pilfering off of me. Or was this the, the room we needed to investigate? There's a room around a somewhat sharp corner, like the scrying mirror. Oh crap, I lost the scrying mirror. Oh, cool, I got my scrying mirror back. But I also lost everything else. Right, that's the real setback. Having to get my 
talk to the spirits device back. But we know those are in the storeroom. I just need to commit to memory where the storeroom is. Yeah. Oh, that's the storeroom. Oh wait, was it even in the storeroom? I don't see her now. Alright, let's go and quiz the girl about the chef hat. No, no, not this way. Maybe the chef hat was her toy, although that's a pretty crappy toy. Oh, right, no, I'm not talking to her here. Oh, maybe she is still here. Is anyone there? Nope, spirit has been and gone. Oh man, seven more hours of this. I hope it picks up. One good thing, and that's been having spooky bald man appear every now and then, but it's significantly less spooky when he just tonks you and steals your stuff. Is anyone there? And this whole lark. Ugh. Right, so what do you know about the chef hat? What do you mean Amy didn't have an answer? I haven't asked her about the chef hat. Oh, right, no, we Is need it to. Amy? We need to be sure it's Amy first. Yes, I'm Amy. Amy, talk to me about chef hats. Who did the chef's hat belong to? I don't know. Oh, that's a bad sign. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? I didn't know what they were until Jimmy showed me. Ah, was that perhaps related to you? being stolen from. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Did he set it on fire? You sold my toy with that stuff in the bottle. I hated him. Good man. So, what are we meant to do or care about this information? Wow, I really don't keep many of my keys, do I? Is anyone there? Okay, she's less than impressed and has decided to just go away now. She is the luckier of the two of us. <laughs> we didn't even get a full 4% for that. Okay, come on. The compass helps us find spirits. Well, I say helps. It doesn't feel like it's much help. It spins around really slowly. I might just move aggressively and pay the Jimmy tax. It's stopping to investigate at every moment is probably costing me more time than just getting thunked in the head. Because the real progress I need is the stuff that I find in the rooms. 
Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Curse the southern snapping. Bound to be more than Amy, or to put it another way, there better be more than Amy. It's not where I wanted to go. Now if I already check these rooms, I don't actually know or remember. They all look the same. Oh, no sign of him. That didn't help us last time though. Check 101, this one had the chef hat in it, right? Yes. Now if I found a chef hat, I feel like going to the kitchen and then making commune with perhaps the uh, hotel's chef might be in order. No, don't, don't, don't be turned around. I'm going to check out these rooms and I'm going to check out the kitchen. I've yet to find a good use of these deadlock keys. I, I can't lure Jimmy in. Try though I may. Are you up to? Also, he must have just been crawling on the ground to shoot up like that. Good man, Jimmy. Good man. You know what? I'm going to try it again. It just seems like such a good idea. Why would it not work? Jimmy? So I, I shout out for Jimmy. And then I go to the other room and then I watch Jimmy enter the room that I just shouted from using my immense power of logic he just walked past isn't it a dead end Well, I've got my compass at least. That's what I really need, another spirit to talk to, make some actual progress. Check the other room as well. 
and then hopefully get out of here without any real issues. Oh, was, was Gracie in the museum really that great? I hated that part so much I dropped the otherwise enjoyable game. Oh my god, not the little girl again. Check room 109. Okay, I can do that. What's not fun about learning museum facts with Grace? Okay, well, uh, the fact that Grace is quite the intolerable character. The fact that you have to find every fact within the museum, but with no indication of which facts you already have and which you do not. For 109. Don't mind me, Jimmy boy. Hey. Now, surely he's going to want to check this place thoroughly. Well done. Well, now I need my device back again. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I suppose I could check out 109 first. It's weird to think we're hiding this key such that he doesn't find it. that progress? It was not progress. Kind of wishing I was here when I still had my contact the ghosts device. Was that even something that... Oh, here we go. Amy holding a toy on fire. Yes. Need my stuff back, Jim Jim. This, this game had one good idea and everything else has been pretty painful. So painful that it feels like I've been playing for about five hours and I've not. I've been playing for one. Almost one and a half. Was this a good idea, Jake? No, no, this was not. Well, since I have no items, I don't even have to pay the Jimmy tax.
feels like he's close by. Salvage my weekend if I quit now. Typical of the lose lobby to say that. How is this game? I can hear him. I can feel him next. Uh oh. Well, that's a bad idea. Feels like a he's behind you moment. Oh, since when were these all locked? Is it bonk clock? Mm, surprisingly not. I still don't have my talk to spirits device though. Compass. Why is my compass not showing me anything? Amy's poor head. Trying to remember where the uh, ghost spirit device thing is normally kept. A storeroom. Which storeroom? Oh, I had the key to this and now I no longer do. It was in here, it is not now, so. Appears to change where he's keeping my goods. Part of me is holding out hope that the gameplay somehow evolves from this. But I might be hoping for too much. Childish, violent drawings. A lot of stabbing. Perhaps with a key. 
uh, not a key, a sword. Sword like Jimmy's sword. How is this so bad after contradiction was so good? I'm I'm baffled. the point to get my refund as well. Hmm. What a pity. checked all these rooms before as well. I feel like I had. What's with the clues suddenly appear? Yeah, Jimmy takes items and keys off of you when you get bonked. A lot of tedium to finding them again just to make more progress. Surely he can hear our mouth breathing. Oh, he's right behind us. Maybe that's my own footsteps that I hear, actually. Okay. Motion blur up the wazoo. I can't see a thing when we're turning. I'm going to catch you. I could hear him walking by. dead end. Oh, he knows. He knows I'm here. But does he know I'm here? Surely he does, he's just having a laugh. He 
should have stuck to his home brew, I think. This is just awful. Gameplay wise. Maybe, maybe my tools aren't actually on this floor. Try the ground floor. <laughs> Too much homebrew drove him to this. I remember how contradiction went. Yes, Simon wasn't actually implicated in anything, as I recall. He was a good lad. Time to go, Maya. There's very little point in still being here. for sure in storerooms then but maybe it's James were there actually other storerooms to check that's the stairwell but I think every door is locked It's not just me, right? This is abnormally blurry. Yeah, I think motion blur was introduced around the turn of the millennium. And it's something we've yet to truly shake off. Which these days we also have depth of field, which is, I would say, even worse. Absolutely abhor chromatic aberration. It's just, hey, we've got a picture. Why don't we make this picture also really uncomfortable to look at? Maybe Simon and his home brew stay away long enough for me to grab my ghostly device. I'd love to appreciate any of this room if it weren't just a blur. On the plus side, Jake, you're almost a quarter of the way through. Yep. Feeling that one quarter of the way through. This is so baffling, I'm I'm struggling to think of a developer before who made a game so great only to follow it up with something absolutely trash. 
in my view, of course, and it is just my opinion. I think this game has largely positive reviews. Won't be getting one from me, that's for sure. Unless this game picks up remarkably, remarkably quickly. I guess the makers of Count Lucinor, or Lucidor, or Lucis something or other. That was a fun little horror puzzle game. Much horror, decent enough puzzles. Uh, they went on to make Yuppie Psycho, and I thought Yuppie Psycho was dreadful. Hey, we got it! Alright, now, if we can not get tonked by Simon quickly enough, we can go and find something, I don't know exactly what. Is the exit. He certainly is. Good thing this elevator is unnaturally fast. <laughs> Romeo went from Doom and Quake to Die Katana. I never played Die Katana. Is someone there? Is the girl still here? Is someone there? Is someone there? Hmm. I thought for sure that with all the chef related stuff we'd find, well actually one chef related thing, the hat, then there'd be something going on there. Probably need my compass. why the scrying mirror was forbidden in the ground and lower ground floor. Maybe because it's a safe area. Or at least it seems safe. Who's there? Hello? your story, Simon. What was the room again? It was 109 that we saw the burning going on. I wonder if we can go to 109. Six. Seven. Eight. 
nein. Hallo. Here we go again. Is it Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. Where did the wooden paddle come from? I don't know. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? It could have been mine. Who drew those violent pictures? Boy, you say. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't know. But children shouldn't drink alcohol. <laughs> I saw you holding a toy on fire. What happened? My hand got burned. It was really hurting. I couldn't tell anyone. She's gone away before I could point out any contradictions. Is someone there? Seemed to hint towards going to the sec. Oh, we're still only 7% of the way through. 7th. 7th. 2nd floor. And find someone. to do. I wanted to turn around, but while we're here, let's admire the sword again. Uh. Yeah, I don't feel like I had this little level of problems clicking on things in Nancy Drew. I think it's the delay between pointing at something you're going to do and then it takes about a wee eh, third of a second to change into where you're going. Since it doesn't snap, and like everything else it feels quite blurry. It's not immediately obvious where you have to be on the screen to move. Maybe Jimmy's having a sad. Well, they can have all the sads he wants. I'm out of here. It's time though, I wonder. Is he going to try and come in? Has he been and gone? Didn't feel like he investigated very hard. I feel like you'd hide underneath the bed, underneath the mattress, perhaps. Oh, 
Was there any indication of where around here I need to be investigating? I believe this is where we found our talk to spirits device. Having watched Zingus play through the Mario games and complain bitterly about their antiquated designs, I think I'm feeling some of that aggravation with this game. So you get tonked by Jimmy, well, back to the start you go. Except it's not just clear some levels you've cleared before, it's go and keep looking around these places and then randomly one of them will have what you need. Alien Isolation. Jake played that a while back on the hardest mode, not an enjoyable experience. Yeah, definitely not. Alien Isolation was a grim game. I forget exactly why, but I certainly had no enjoyment with that game. There we go. Got all of our tools back. Oh, not the kid again. Wait, you want me to go into the first floor? But the previous vision was something about the second floor. Maybe I need to follow the crying, but you're showing me 217 and 218. I can't help but feel we'd be doing better without the hints. To 17. What do we have? That was a fat lot of nothing. Is someone there? Is anyone there? Okay, never mind that then. I mean, he's the one that's looking around for us. We should be the one that's hunting, not him. We have every advantage as well. All we need to do is be the one hiding around a dark corner. Sounded a little far away with his thing of Maya. Mayhaps between here. Is anyone there? Oh, 
Something going on with the lights. to follow the lights. Perhaps there is another light? Is someone there? Well, we don't have our scrying device, we don't have our talk to ghosts device, we don't have our compass. They are now once again randomly scattered around this game, and I am certainly also going to scatter and just decry that this game is complete trash, and I never want to play it again. There's no fun to be had here. I cannot believe the mind behind contradiction, or the minds behind contradiction, came up with this garbage, but my god, it's one good idea and that is it. It feels horrible to move around in, the gameplay feels asinine, the use of motion blur and shaky cam up the wazoo, just no. No, and even more no. God, God, who, who did me dirty on this one? Someone needs to be named and shamed over this. So, the weekly one-shot submission came in from Action Candle. Action Candle? A cursory search for this individual. Ah, there's Candle. Alright, I swear they mentioned something about it. What's it called again? Dead of Night. I'm pretty sure they talked about it, but I cannot find what they said about it. Hang on, hang on, I'm, I'm trying. I swear they mentioned it, and that was what even made me go, maybe this will be good, something, something, contradiction. I'm trying to see how it's been sold to me. Disingenuously comes to mind. Kind of feels dirty digging through loads of comments, though. I just want to find the one pertaining to this suggestion. But I can't seem to find it. Right, okay, yeah, this this game is horrible, and away it goes. I'm going to try my luck at a, uh, at a refund for it, because I feel bad even paying for it, which kind of means I need to close the game ASAP. Can't have this game running its timer. <laughs> a towel and water bottle thrown in at this point. Right, unfortunately for me, a throw is still a win for the lose lobby. I really wish it wasn't, but I don't want to set precedence by making a special case for that. So go and take your bloody points. Wow, actually loads of people were on the failure lobby. 63% of the points were there. Alright, go and take your, your dirty blood money. I'm not, I'm not even bringing up the uh, the conclusion for that one. That was too ill-gotten. What a poisoned submission by Ash and Candle. Right, 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 right. I'm going to get the punishment games out. Two hours of a horrible punishment game still is a better suggestion than six more hours of that. Whatever we could say that was. Got to bring up my wheel. I never have it pre-prepared because I never like to admit that I am ready. For a punishment game, but can I get it up here? Come to me, wheel. There we go, that looks a lot like a wheel. 
So if you're somehow new to the concept, whenever I fail a punishment game, or in this case, have something so bad thrown at me that I have to get rid of it, I have to spin this wheel as populated by games that have been submitted by subscribers to the channel. And a punishment game is meant to be at least one of three things. Punishing to play, punishing to watch, or extremely difficult. A really good punishment game is a multiple of them. Jake, you're not even going to look at the people who you failed in the eye? No, not even. Well, all right then. I suppose, I suppose. We can take a very briefest of look at it. Get over there. Hang on, hang on. It's longer than that, isn't it? There you go. Wrong thing to get rid of. Ugh. I think a lot of people knew there was something up with this today. And normally the amount of people that go all in are uh, the majority in the victory lobby. <laughs> but I failed Nyx. Okay, at least there is some justice in this world. Right, go away. Let's get this, uh, this miserable punishment game rolled. Can't be worse than what we just had, right? Oh, maybe I need to clear out L Lord of the Ring Gollum because that one's now coming in as a uh, a dictator. But Kaladin gets rolled and he's got Trombone Champ. That's a game I have seen a bit of. I can't imagine why it'd be that punishing. But it's what we've got coming up. Just when I'd cleared out my punishment backlog, another one comes rolling on in. Maybe I can find a way to take care of that and Gollum in the same miserable afternoon. Yeah, that way I can get the misery out of the way and then enjoy myself my vacation that'll be starting in a week's time. But yeah, what a it wasn't even that long, but what a miserable gaming experience today was. Time to go and ink up my negative review, hope that I can get my refund on this, and uh, you know, find positive things about the game and then roll my eyes at them because that was utter tripe. In any case, I don't even feel like it's good to say cheers for joining, but it certainly feels good at now to be saying cheerio.